Hey everybody, and welcome to Daisy Knits. I will start this by saying this is not a normal podcast. So if you are a first time viewer, I'm so thrilled you came to sit with me, but I should fair warn you, this is not normally how it is. This is going to be um, Zombie and Apocalypse, or ZK, 2017 recap. So I'm going to tell you a bit about my trip, my experiences, and how it went for me. So if you're not interested, by all means, skip ahead. If you don't care, totally understand. Um, there's going to be a lot of goodie bags and market talk. There's going to be a lot of things shown to you. But I don't want you to feel like this is normal. So, fair warning, not my normal podcast. I'm going to give you a run through of my, basically, almost my last week. So, are y'all ready? Let me get a quick drink real quick. I moved some things around and I stirred some dust up and I'm trying not to sneeze on everybody. So, sorry. Anyways, I drove up to Rochester, Minnesota um, on Wednesday. I came in Wednesday, I checked into the hotel, I had some dinner in my room, and then I went off to visit with friends. I had a roommate and she came in Wednesday evening as well. So I met up with Sarah and we kind of visited and chatted and um, then Thursday morning we got up and I got to hand out goodie bags on Thursday morning. So I had volunteered to help out at the registration table Thursday and I was slotted to do that from like 9 to 10. So I was like among the first people and I was seeing people come in and check in and it was so exciting. Um, just to see everybody, all the excitement and people coming in and hugging each other and visiting. And then I saw the goodie bags. And let me tell you, I love goodie bags. I just think they're fun to paw through and see everything. But this is what came in my goodie bag. I think everybody had almost the same thing, but this is what came in. So first off, we have a little bucket bag from Silver Shed. You'll see a theme here. I like purple. So you might notice that as we go through. So um, I'm hoping that's reading, yeah, that's reading purple up here. A little bitty bucket bag. And I really love just the cinch top that it has, but it's perfect for like a pair of socks. I don't see this necessarily being a huge um, shawl project or, I mean, you're not going to be able to get a whole lot in there, but it's going to be great for a pair of socks. We also had these beautiful little notions pouches in there and the fabric on the inside this slays me it says silver shed can y'all see that how cool is that so notions pouch and i do believe our goodie bags these little bags came from the silver shed i know this one did obviously i think this guy did too i'm trying to keep it all in here the other big thing that came in our goodie bag was yarn and there was three different dyers. So I got mine from Three Irish Girls. And we have a beautiful, there we go, royal purple. This has splotches and splatters and speckles of purple and red and teal. And this has the red and the purple and with the main body teal. So I am super thrilled with this. It's a merino nylon blend. Um, these are 50 gram skeins. So I have 645 yards here. I think this might have to become some kind of color shawl. I'm not sure what yet, but I think that this, this has to grow up to be a shawl to love on me. The other two dyers that were selected to do goodie bag yarn was 716 Knits and Brew City. And I saw both of theirs and theirs were gorgeous as well. I really loved all of them. It's just that one had purple. I couldn't help it. So like any goodie bag that I've had so far, lots of coupon codes. We had like Kitchen Counter Crafter, um, Lavender Luna, Leading Man Fiber Arts, myself, um, Queen City, Janice Fickle, Ficker Designs, Wandering Wool, Show Me Yarns. Um, these were all as well in our goodie bags. We had a couple of little minis, and check out this mini. I know it's going to crinkle, and I'm sorry, but look how cute that is. Like, that's just adorable. So all of those were in there. 
We had a little bit of a lure wool wash. It came in there with a little fix it stitch. Um, I'm trying to look and see. Oh, check out this. Got flashlights. So the theme this year was camping. And can you see on there? They're camping with a little campfire. But we got flashlights, and my lovely roommate knows I have two children, so she gave me her flashlight. So I have two flashlights for my two children. I have not let them use this yet. They're kind of a little grouch about that. Um, it has the three lights here at the bottom as well as the stand-up one. So those will go to the children next. Um, a few more coupon codes. Whimsy Stitches. Let me see. Gave us a lovely little stitch marker with a coupon code. Um, more coupon codes and lovely goodie bags. Or coupon codes and cards. Um, Debbie from Jackson, California. There we go. She gave me this awesome little, check out that little um, ruler. How awesome is that? It is four inches and ten centimeters. That is just so cute and handy. Also, Knitter's Pride donated, and these are size five needles. I saw lots of other different sizes. I saw the nine inch surf. So I don't know how many came, but that, I was really kind of tickled with that because, you know, new needles. I also ended up with a little ring counter. And I have not played with one of these before, so I'm kind of excited to try this. Um, I had set all of this aside and said, I'm not going to touch it until after I've shared it with you guys. So all of that. The other big thing that came in our goodie bag is from Dean Pottery. Pottery, it's a mug. Can you see that? Look at the glaze. So I got a purple one. They also had a blue one and a red one, and they are just gorgeous and they carried that once again that camping theme through so i have not used this yet i've been waiting i'm so excited tomorrow we're having tea in this bad boy yay um so that is what came in my goodie bag on thursday morning i handed out goodie bags um I kind of just putzed around the hotel. I visited with people. I meandered all around. I'm trying to think. Thursday night they did the opening ceremonies and visited and chatted. They had the pajama party, which I didn't go in my jammies just because I didn't make it back to my hotel and then back my room and back. So I didn't do that. Um, but they did have a pajama party. They had a photo booth. And I have put my picture somewhere very special. I'm not sure. It's tucked in one of my bags, but I haven't found it yet. Because I haven't unpacked. As you can tell, I haven't unpacked everything. Um, it's still around here somewhere. Um, so they did the photo booth on Thursday night. Friday morning I got up and I visited with some friends. And I sat and I chatted and I knit. And then Friday afternoon, I did my heel class, and I managed to make my two more heels that I needed for class. So it wasn't, I feel like it wasn't the best class, but it was a pretty decent class. I loved having the samples, so that was a really good um, thing for class. Friday night, I'm trying to think what happened Friday night. Susan B. Anderson spoke, and once again, it was quite lovely. I got to... Um, listen to her read a little bit out of out of Clara Parks's new book that's coming out in September. She has a, an essay or a chapter in it. So it was really kind of fun to listen to her read a small excerpt out of that. I'm trying to think what else. Oh, I think they did the s'mores that night. I couldn't partake, but I got to watch. They brought out these flower pots and they had little Bunsen burners in it. So it had flames. And you could go get your s'mores stuff, and you made s'mores right there at the table. It was so cute. Great idea. The ladies were just on it. Megan and Amy were just all over it. It was fabulous. And then Saturday morning happened. And Saturday morning was market day. So I had to, like, get up early and go be responsible and adult 
and I might have came home with a bit more. So let me show you. I'm going to lean over here because I'm, I'm going to bring it all closer to me. So market day. I um, was blessed to visit with several different vendors that day. Um, I came home with yarn from Undead Yarn Company, Heidi. So I'm not sure if y'all are going to be able to see it, but it is basically white with black speckles. However, let me see if I can find a really good spot. I know oh, there's some right here. When the black breaks, Heidi's black breaks with pops of orange. Can you, I'm not sure you're going to be able to see that, but there's little pops of orange in there. And I have no idea what this is going to become yet because there's a part of me thinking I really need to highlight that orange. Um, but there's a part of me going, it's so pretty. Or I could put it with hot pink. I have no idea. This might sit for just a little bit till I decide the perfect thing for it. But I came home with a skein of that. I also came home with a skein of Marigold Gin. And this is a BFL nylon blend. And I think these are going to grow up to be a pair of socks for my husband. How spectacular are those colors? So we have a lovely pale blue going into the cobalt blue, a charcoal black all the way down to just a light gray. This is, it's gorgeous. I am so thrilled with these. Like I said, these really probably are going to end up being a pair of socks for my husband. As soon as I saw them, I knew that was his socks. And the other thing I came home with is yarn from Susan B. Anderson. Oh, that's not true. I have one more thing. Do you see those? So we have wood, violet, and grassland. And let's see. These are both worsted weight yarn made in the USA from wool, American sheep. It doesn't tell you what kind of wool it is. It just says wool. And there's 300, 230 yards, not 320. 230 yards in each one. I am thinking I would like to make a color work or two colored something mitts and hat maybe. That's kind of my thought right now. Because 230 is, well that's 460. So I might even be able to get like a decent shawl if I wanted out of that. I don't know yet. But this is a possibility. I just saw those two colors and thought those would be beautiful together. So these came home with me. And that's all the yarn that I came home with. Just those four, the four skeins and then my goodie bag. The other thing I came home with was another bag. Um, this is from Java Jenny at Kitchen Counter Crafter. And I really loved the shape of it. I want to try the shape of it. It's got the creases where it was folded. But it unzips, it's a pyramid, basically. So it unzips and you can pop things in. I, I, it really tickled me. So this one came home with me from my market. Okay, so that's my market stuff. Now, I have a few goodies though I came home with as well. So at the retreat, well, before the retreat, we had the opportunity. Let me see what's shoved in here. Oh trash. Anyways, we had the opportunity to pre-order the Minnesota book. This is written by Megan and Corey, and I'm not even going to try to say Corey's last name. They're right down there, because, you know, I'll butcher it. It's Corey. I rocks. I, I rock knits. I rock knits. Corey. So, they were actually signing books, and so I pre-ordered a book, and they both signed it, and I got to come home with it, and because it was kind of a special, they just launched the book, they had little patches. How cute are those? I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet, but it goes fabulous with my Camp Champ patch. So, I got the Camp Champ patch because... I have attended all five years of ZK, and I helped out with the goodie table. That's, I don't know, I was just tickled pink. I had patches. I feel like a little Girl Scout, and I need like a, I need a special bag so I can put all my patches on. I don't know why. That, that's what I'm going on in my brain. It might happen. We'll see. 
One of the other things that did happen was lots of stitch marker swap. Um, so the bag was a gift. I was blessed with the bag. I want to say chocolate mama. I might have her name wrong. I see her beautiful face in my brain. And I know that you can't see her face in my brain, but I see her face. I want to say chocolate mama. She gave us this beautiful bag. And so I started collecting my stitch markers in here. Um, but this bag also has stitch markers. So I came home with a bunch of new stitch markers. And some of these were just too much fun. These ladies went all out. I mean, there's beautiful, they're all beautiful, but look at this. It's wooden. Like, that's mind blowing. And then this sweet lady took the logo. And it's kind of like a shrinky dink of the logo for this year because every year they do a different one. Um, Stacy. Oh my goodness. Stacy. Look at that. She made a needle felted rose. Come on. Come on. Amazing. Oh, and I'm so excited. I have, and this is a new to me place, but I have a new stitch marker from them. Can you see my little grilled cheese sandwich? How adorable is that? It makes me happy. So. Um, the stitch marker swap kind of happened a little bit every day. I had stitch markers and I shared with, with lots of people and lots of people shared stitch markers with me. So this happened uh, pretty much every day. The majority of them happened, I want to say Thursday night, but some stitch marker swapping happened all week. So that is one of the things I was blessed with. Also, one of the sweet ladies that I love her dear face for, and she is my gaming guru, I bow to her. She blessed me with some coffee. And while I don't drink coffee, my husband does, and she remembered, and so she gave us some coffee. Um, I have not let him have this yet, because I told him he can't have it until I record, because I'll forget. <laughs> I know I'll forget, but you can't smell this. I'll let you pretend smell. Um... <laughs> It is fabulous, fabulous smell. She said it came from Black Rock is the name of the shop in Portland, Oregon. And it is a medium roast. So she blessed me with some coffee. I was also blessed with a fabulous new stitch marker. A stitch. What do you call these? Not stitch markers. A needle, mar a needle cover, needle case. I should fair warn you, it's late at night. It's like almost my bedtime, and so I'm not firing on all four cylinders right now. So this is a needle case. That's what I'm going for. I want to say needle cozy. There we go. This was a roomy gift. My sweet roommate found it at the market and thought I just had to have it. It is from Whimsy Stitches. I'll show you his little logo down there. Rick is a, is a very sweet guy. Um, he was also a very generous guy, and he donated a ton of prizes to ZK as door prizes. My nose is itching now too. Apparently I'm just falling apart. This is one of the door prizes. I won. Actually I won another prize but I traded because the other gal was... Anyways, this is my door prize. How beautiful is that? And it's so... Rick actually lives in New Orleans and so for, for me I look at it and I just know that's a Rick thing. Total Rick thing. Oh my goodness. So, it says it's a small wedge. That's a small wedge? Like, it's a pretty good size wedge. Anyways, this is from Rick. And, oh, here we go. I have a much bigger card with his logo information on there. So there's Rick's information. I think, oh, I have one more thing to show you. I was also blessed with some beautiful fiber. And this is from Treasure Goddess. And I don't think I've ever spun any of her stuff. So I'm super excited to try it. It's got the teals and the blues. It's just beautiful. So that I think is everything I was blessed with. I saw, I got to visit with. So market happened, kind of got to market and then I got distracted by all of the amazing goodies. Market happened Saturday. Um, 10 to noon and they shut it down at noon 
which I love because as a vendor, I get to have lunch, which is kind of nice. And actually, totally admit, I go to the bedroom, I go back to our room, and I lay on the bed and just rest for a little bit. And it's like heaven. And then I get up and come back. And the market continues from 1 to 3. We broke down. Um, I went over to Panacookin, which is a little shop. And they make Panacookin, which is actually a, a meal thing. But they have muffins. They have the best muffins. And we were blessed with $5 coupons. I had two $5 coupons in my bag. Um, so I went over and I got muffins. And I got six different muffins for the kids. So I came home with the pan of and box. And they know that box. They know their muffins. So um, I did that Saturday night. And then we went back for closing. And that's when I won my door prize. We all sat and chatted for a while. And quite a few people honestly packed up early and went to bed early because they were heading out early, which was kind of sad. That's always the sad part is saying goodbye to friends. And I remembered to take some pictures. I have quite a few on my phone now so I can flip through and, and look at my friends that I only see once a year. Um, but I do have pictures and I was just blown away this year by the love and the, the just wonderfulness of it. So that is ZK. If you enjoy being around a lot of people, like I said, a lot of people, I felt like the meeting room was very, very loud sometimes because there were so many people there, but you could always go away and come back. Um, if you're interested in that kind of retreat, I think it's a fabulous one you should check out. If you're not totally understand. It's very informal classes. No big name teachers are coming in. It's just little, you know, I say normal people, average knitters and, and amazing people who know a ton of stuff, but, um, you're not going to find, you know, the amazing, like, um, big name teachers coming in to teach. It's, it's more casual, more laid back, more relaxed. So, I love it because it is so relaxed and everybody's just friendly and we sit and chat. So if that's a retreat you're interested in, you might put it on your calendar for next year. If not, there's plenty more to go around. So I should also tell you, I've been playing with these beads this whole podcast. I was on Team Red. They had a knit along and I loved the knit along. It was so much fun. But I was on Team Red and we were kind of more a laid back casual team compared to one of the other teams. There was red, blue, and purple. Um, we were kind of in the middle, super casual. But one of our teammates actually bought little, um, I don't even know what this is called, a keychain, key ring? She bought a whole bunch of these with um, the purpose of sharing. And then one of the other teammates came with beads. And I felt a little silly because I was like, I feel like I should flash her my yarn or something <laughs> to earn my Mardi Gras beads. But we didn't. There was no flashing, as far as I know. Um, there was no flashing on my part, I should say. But I have Team Red merchandise. And it was, it was a lot of fun. So, I believe I have talked your ear off enough now about ZK and kind of given you a brief rundown and flashed you all of my goodies. I should probably stop now. I will chat at you later. I hope that you've had a great week. And I really do hope that you enjoyed at least a little bit of the, my crazy flashing. So, I will chat at you later. See ya.